okay so last week i got a comment in one of my video about how to import a specific gizmo inside nuke i already made a video about this or explaining this simple thing like maybe a couple of years back but that is very basic so i'm making this specific tutorial in detail like how to create a new gizmo and you can bring that gizmo or in that case any downloaded gizmo from nukepedia inside your nuke and you can simply use that in your workflow so i hope this tutorial is going to be super useful so let's jump into the tutorial okay so we are inside nuke now so what is a gizmo so let's suppose if you're working on a sequence of shots where you are using a set of nodes consistently in every single shot so instead of using this set of nodes every now and then or in every single shot you can create a group with all this set of nodes with the exact similar properties and use this gizmo or use this group in every single shot so you don't have to spend time importing all those single nodes instead you can simply take this gizmo or this group and alter its properties to get the desired effect so i'm going to create a a small gizmo here to showcase like how we can create a gizmo or how we can create a group inside nuke and how we can load that gizmo file back into nuke every time you open a new nuke version let's take blur node and let's take an erode node erode fast that means dilate and let's take an erode filter node so let's suppose these all are the three nodes which you use consistently on a sequence of shots. So every time you don't have to type in the names of these three nodes individually, you can just create a group out of these three nodes and you can use that group as I told before. Select these three nodes and just do control G. So that will group all these three nodes and you can see this is the group properties. Right now we don't have anything inside this group. We just need to create that later. But also you can see a specific node graph for group one. So if you go inside the node graph, of group one you can see those three nodes connected to an input node and an output node so i'm not going to explain in detail about how to create a gizmo and what all are the properties and what all are the different ways you can create gizmos and all those things so if you want to learn more about gizmo creation and uh, its applications you can simply go over foundry learnings channel and you can find tony leon's amazing tutorial about gizmos and uh, groups coming back to the tutorial we have a group node here and let's create some properties inside this group node so inside this group node you can see we have a tab called group and you can see a pen icon or pencil icon i would say let's click on this and you can see a list of icons here so by dragging these icons we can create specific knobs also you can do that by right clicking over here and just click on manage user knobs you have all these things inside here as well i'm going to close these properties so let's start creating the properties for this group node here we have a text knob just click that and drag that into the group node and just place it over here you can see a text knob here we can see there are three options here like uh, you can edit the properties of text knob here by clicking on this icon and this is just simple like you can hide and you can close this knob so i'm going to click over here and i'm going to type in a name for this blur and just copy that and paste it over here in the label so you can see it is renamed as blur right now and the next thing which i'm going to do is that um, i'm going to take or extract the properties of blur node and just place it over here inside the group node i'm going to open the properties of all these three nodes so in the blur properties you can see size knob so i'm going to drag that and place it over here so we have the size knob inside the group properties uh, again i'm going to take a divider line and just place it over here to give a separation and uh, taking the text knob again just drag it over here and place it it's going to rename that as dilate and just copy and paste that here i'm going to the properties of dilate node and just drag that and keep it over here and just taking a divider line again and uh, again a text knob and just rename that as uh, maybe a road and just copy that and paste it over here and that's done so just drag this size knob and place it over here so let's click on this icon again and see if our properties are working well so right now we have some properties and we have a user tab and a node tab user tab is a tab where we created all those custom properties or custom options i would say and uh, let's take a checkerboard and see what we can do with this group let's view on the group node and uh, let's take the properties and let's blur and see if it is getting affected yes it is getting affected so our properties are ready and uh, as i told there's a beautiful tutorial in foundry learnings channel created by tony lyons it explains all these things in pretty much detailed way so kindly go there and check that video for learning more about creating gizmos let's edit this tab's name for doing that you can simply press over this icon and you can simply click on this and just type in your name let's type in like blurring that's my tab name and yes our tab is ready so we have a blurring tab inside that we have properties of blur dilate erode let's see how we can export this group as a gizmo so that is pretty much simple just the 
double click on this group properties so inside your node tab you can see a button over here export as gizmo simply click on that button and it will just ask us to save this gizmo or group in your hard drive so i'm going to name this as blurring and you don't have to type the extension because it is already typed here so i'm going to save this group as a gizmo just click on save button and you can go back to the folder where you saved the file and check if your group is exported as a gizmo or not so i saved this gizmo inside my dot nuke folder so let's go over there and check it out okay so we are inside my dot nuke folder and as you can see this is the new gizmo which we just created so i hope you understood what is the basics of creating a gizmo and exporting that into a specific folder and let's see how we can load that inside nuke so the method which i'm going to show you is the i would say the most used way by people i used to do that a lot before so if you're inside this specific folder where you exported the gizmo or where you downloaded the gizmo in that case so for me it's my dot new direct so i'm going to double click the gizmo file and open that in a text editor right now i just opened that in the default notepad and you can see some set of code here you needn't worry anything about this code you can simply copy the whole code come back to nuke and you can just simply paste that here in the node graph you can see the gizmo is loaded inside nuke let's alter the properties and see if it's working or not uh, let's view on the gizmo and as you can see we can alter the properties so gizmo is working so this is the way which i saw many people imports gizmos inside nuke which is obviously not the right way so i think four years back i made a specific tutorial on how to import a gizmo inside nuke uh, which went well but um, i recommend not to follow that method because that's kind of a basic method which is not that apt i mean we can import gizmos inside nuke but that's not the right way because we might face a lot of issues doing that method so i'm going to correct that video i'm going to show you the exact way which we need to do later in this video so kindly stick to the video so the way which i showed in that video is so come back to your folder where you exported your gizmo or in that case if you downloaded that from nuke just copy that gizmo from that specific folder and paste that inside dot nuke directory inside your machines this is really important always make sure you copy that gizmo and paste that inside dot nuke directory so here you can see we have blurring dot gizmo which is the gizmo we just created inside nuke and come back to nuke and in the node graph just right click go into other all plugins update it will take few seconds for new update itself so let's wait till that so i think nuke is refreshed press tab and just type the name of the gizmo so this is the gizmo which i pasted in my dot new directory cool so we have the gizmo ready to edit so i'm going to connect that into the checkerboard and let's see if i can alter the properties you can see it's working so so now our gizmo is pretty much available inside nuke without any copy paste or without doing any kind of manual editing this is the way which i showed in that tutorial but why i'm telling this is not the right way is that if you close nuke okay so this is a fresh nuke and let's take the checkerboard and let's try to import our gizmo again tab blurring so i'm not able to find my gizmo again inside the node graph or inside my notes this is the drawback of doing that method pretty much every time if you are relaunching a new new you have to do this this is really a hassle i wish no one follows this method because i'm going to show you much better way for importing gizmos so again stick to the video okay so what is the difference between a group and gizmo okay so here what we are going to see is the difference between a group and a gizmo if you have an exported gizmo you can edit that and bring a group inside new so let's see how is that i am here inside my dot new directory and you can see the coded gizmo here so i'm going to open that as you can see a lot of codes here like i'm not going to give you a basic lecture about this code it will make you more confusing so instead of that just concentrate on this specific word you can see gizmo written over here so i'm going to copy this just paste it inside my new as you can see this is my gizmo i already showed this way to import a gizmo pretty easily but also told that this is not the right way because if you want to see what is inside this gizmo what nodes are used to build this gizmo you cannot edit that gizmo here here inside the properties so this is definitely a drawback so instead of importing a gizmo if i'm going back to the notepad again come back to the part where you saw the gizmo written so instead of this i just type group and just copy this code and uh, let's paste it over here now you can see this is a group so what is the difference between a gizmo and group you can see the properties are very similar and let's see how the properties are getting affected in both you can see the blur in group and gizmo and it's completely similar to each other so there is no difference between group and gizmo in terms of properties inside your group node you can see a s kind of icon here you can just simply click on this icon and you can open that group and see what is present inside this group so these all are the three nodes which we used to build that gizmo so i can see that inside my group node but instead of group if i checked gizmos i cannot see that icon here and i cannot open and see which nodes are used to build this gizmo so i'm sure next time if you see a gizmo you just 
rename the gizmo part as group and you can simply copy paste the code and paste that inside nuke and simply open and see which all are the nodes present inside that gizmo and you can learn a lot of things from there so okay till now we have seen various ways of importing a gizmo inside nuke i would say all those methods are pretty much easy to understand but i would like to say that that's not the exact way to do so right now i'm going to show you the exact way of uh, importing a gizmo inside nuke so for that you just need to concentrate a little bit more here before doing anything inside nuke i just need to go to the dot nuke directory so inside my dot nuke directory you can see many folders here which are part of my dot nuke pipeline so i'm not going to mess up anything here i'm just going to simply show how we can integrate a gizmo inside this dot nuke directory and just simply load that inside nuke so i'm going to cut this dot gizmo file from my dot nuke directory and as you can see i have a folder here so i recommend to create a folder specifically for gizmos and inside this folder you can see some gizmos already present so I'm going to paste that gizmo inside this folder and uh, you can see a blurring dot gizmo here so uh, make sure you do that and also you can see a python file here like init.py which is just click on that init.py okay for those of you who wonders what text editor is this this is sublime text which is an open source you can simply download this from internet here you can see some set of codes you don't have to worry too much about these codes i will copy paste this code inside the description of the video that's easy for you right so i have added a path for the gizmos like nuke.plugin add path for my gizmos folder pretty much easy you don't have to be so confused here so once you type this thing just save init.py and close this also you have a menu.py file inside your .nuke directory if you don't have init and menu.py in your directory you can create a new one so just double click on menu.py and open that in the sublime okay so this is inside menu.py and uh, you can see a set of code here again i'm going to copy and paste this in the description of the video so you don't have to worry too much about like what code is written over here here you can see hey gizmos menu so this is the name of the menu nuke.menu nodes nodes is the menu which is seen like left side of the nuke interface where you can find all the nodes and i'm going to tell them like create a new menu or add a new menu named hey gizmos so inside that gizmo i'm telling nuke to add a command that is blurring if i execute this command nuke should run this function nuke.create node blurring already i have the blurring gizmo inside my gizmos folder so i'm not going to explain this in very detail you will feel more confused so i hope you understood what this code means so once you're done with this you can save the menu.py and just launch a new nuke okay so here we are inside nuke and let's take a checkerboard as always and right now we are not doing any kind of hacks inside nuke we are just going to import our gizmo which are pretty much integrated to the dot nuke folder so we don't have to worry anything if you see right over here we have the hey gizmos menu and inside that you can see the blurring gizmo which we just installed or which we just created inside nuke and you don't have to create that from here you can do that but i'm not going to do that in that way i'm just going into the node graph and just um, type in tab and just type the name of the gizmos which is pretty much everyone do and you can see the same gizmo here so that's pretty easy right so i'm going to take the gizmo and let's connect that into the checkerboard and see if it's usable yes it's definitely usable because i'm able to edit it right so right now if i close new can open i'm able to access this gizmo pretty easily i don't have to do any kind of hacks later the drawback of using this method is that again i told you this is a gizmo so we cannot see what is there inside this gizmo and let's suppose if any other artist is opening up the script in any other machine where this gizmo is not installed that might cause that script to be corrupted or broken so always make sure you install a group instead of gizmo go back to the dot new directory where you copy and pasted that gizmo for me it is inside my gizmos folder and you can see the blurring dot gizmo here so i'm going to open that file and edit the wording like gizmo as group and just type in like um, leave a space name the name of the gizmo i'm going to save this file okay so we are inside nuke again and let's take a checkerboard and let's import our gizmo or let's take our gizmo tab blurring here we go we have the blurring gizmo and i'm going to connect that into the checkerboard and if you click on this icon you can see what is there inside that group or that gizmo and now this is pretty much easy and pretty much standard you don't have to worry about breaking the script or any kind of issues using this specific gizmo or group i hope this tutorial is super useful to every one of you if yes please like the video that's a real motivation for me also comment down your thoughts or comment down your questions so until next video it's manu signing off thank you for watching